It has been a wild story. We had started with from literally nothing. Since then, our company has grown a lot. Uh, we're now a global remote company. We're about to be getting a unicorn status, which means that we are close to a billion dollar valuation. I'm Alina Vandenberg. I've started Chili Piper in 2016. It's a JavaScript that it, people put on their websites when they have a contact us form on their website. Some of the big companies that you might have heard of that are using Chili Piper are Spotify, uh, Monday.com, Airbnb, Gong, Twilio, Pandadoc, um, Workplace by Facebook, and many others. We wanted to be able to hire people no matter where they are in the world. We knew that there were talented people everywhere. We wanted to be able to work from magical places like beaches and mountains and forests. We have 220 employees that are in a hundred and something cities and probably about 40 countries by now. At the beginning, we couldn't pay ourselves salaries, obviously, but we had to pay our employees. So we sold our house, we sold our car, and we didn't go to fundraise until we saw that the money that was coming in was able to pay for our employees, it was able to pay for us, and that we were uh, cash even. And we had some delays for a few months, and we couldn't, we didn't have cash in the bank, so we paid people in stock, and those people have become millionaires now. <laughs> we have customers everywhere. So the fact that we covered several time zones is actually beneficial. Time zones are difficult to work with if you have working hours, but we don't have working hours. People can work from whatever times they want to whatever times they want. They make their own schedule. The only requirement is that there is some time overlap in case there needs to be some face time and we cannot go without that face to face interactions and communicate only in docs and slacks because we're humans, we're not robots, and we do need to uh, have those, those social interactions. So you have to go to these places before you can hire people from those regions. Otherwise, you're not going to, understand, going to understand how they look at your company. How do they go about being most productive at work? And uh, what inspires them? Uh, all these things matter. And yes, I've been to probably 99% of the countries that we, we employ in. In California, for instance, people are very different than Eastern Europe or even quite different than South America and and to be able to understand what each one of us are, are saying you have to be attuned to certain cultural differences and uh, it's been quite uh, quite interesting to see how people adapt to each other and how they learn from each other like that it's beautiful I think that the only thing that can be done is to make sure that there's not one piece of your business that is focused on only one particular thing and if that particular thing fails and everything fails. In our case, we have employees everywhere in the world, so a conflict in an area might affect us a bit less than other companies that might be only based in Ukraine. Right now, it's a disaster there. Similarly, we were remote from day one, so the fact that everybody went remote did not affect us because we had that uh, fail-safe fail uh, in place. I really, really like to both to build software, but also to have an impact in how the world accepts diversity and especially cultural diversity. That's what I see in people that are successful. They do it because they have a mission behind it. They have a why behind it. So if the mission doesn't exist, it's impossible to have the energy to overcome all the million things that are thrown at you as a, as a founder of a company. Sometimes it's very, very tough. Right now, there's we have Ukrainian employees, we have Russian employees, and I want to make sure that they're safe, that they have everything that they need to do their job. And this is just one piece of my job. If I wouldn't love it, it would take me down, but it doesn't, it motivates me to do even more work. I can't imagine having a little one and being in a basement and having the missiles coming thrown and they just don't have safety. And even if my plans are delayed to launch certain products, if my financial is gonna be delayed because we don't have those products to market, Everything pales in comparison with what these people are going through.
Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.